hello, hello, hello. This is Sunny with Creative Therapy, and I just thought I'd turn the camera on because I'm playing with something new. I have this Bow Bunny Gesso in white, and I've decided that I want to do that, might be a little much, we'll find out. What I'm looking to do here, I'm going to do, this is a little canvas, just a little cheapy from Michael's. And it was a little two-pack of like the cheapest kind they have. And I'm just going to prime this canvas with a good coat of gesso. Because I'm going to try something with those stamps from the... Um, Graphic 45 Nature Sketchbook. This is a nice gesso too. I didn't even really need to add any water. It's got a really creamy texture. Um, I guess I've been buying crappy gesso or something because I typically um, feel like it needs to have a little bit of water added to it to put on a canvas. And if you can hear my TV in the background, I do apologize. I should have turned that down before I started, but I didn't realize it was quite as loud as it is. So anyway, I like I said, I just popped the camera on to get this first uh, step down on, on film here because I'm going to um, I changed my mind. I decided I did need a little water, didn't I? Okay. Anyway, um, I am going to make a cute little canvas piece a little mixed media all right so the next step I'm gonna put down some acrylic paint all right so the next step is I'm gonna wash my hands and clean up my mess and let this dry and then what I think I want to do where's my white piece you gotta have your diaper wipes. All right. And you know, I love, 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 love paper crafting. I really do. However, I am so seasonal. This time of year is not really my, this isn't really my paper time of year. This is my yarn type of year. I really, really, really wanna be knitting and crocheting. And I, I just feel kinda off this year because I did not, no one got handmade gifts from me this year, which is totally out of character. And, um, yeah, I just needed a little break from paper. I do have a project in mind for that Graphic 45 Nature Sketchbook that is more along our typical, um, but I just wanted to do, I started to do a journal page but I decided to go with a canvas. I just really let my other crafting, uh, I'm just really behind in it. Not that I have any deadlines to match or it's just my natural clock. I just feel like um, my year's been messed up and I just wanna do some other stuff. So I've got a hair, dang it. I've got a hair in there. I'm, it's just a tiny little black fuzz hair thing and it's just gonna irk me there we go got it got it got it now let's just smooth this make sure I didn't mess it up okay anyway I just felt like doing at least like a canvas like I said I kind of wanted to do a journal page um, I just kind of colored earlier today because I just didn't want to build anything with paper but I wanted to do something and are you are there any other crafters out there that are like that I just I get in moods for different types of crafting I could even go for some needlework I would love 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 to get some cross stitch done or something but this is going to have to fill my void. We will do just a little bit of painting and playing and stamping and a little mixed media on this little mini canvas. 
and then I will jump into my next paper crafting um, project and it's really I think it's gonna be kind of cool right now it's in the planning stages it's in my little brain so what do I keep getting in there okay I think I should stop before I just have a total mess. Now I've messed up my texture again. Okay. All right, let this gesso dry and I'm gonna use some acrylics. I might use some. Oh, I had a bigger one I could have used. Oh well. Who knows what I've got over here. I haven't played in this stuff in a while. All right, I think I'm gonna use, let's look at some acrylic here. I don't wanna to touch that, there we go. I have an unbleached titanium. There we go, because I want kind of a tan beige color and I also want white. So there's a titanium white. All right, they're not the same brand, I don't care. Doesn't matter. I just want to make a background color and then I'm going to use some stencils over top and then maybe even some sprays. I don't know if I'm going to use sprays, but I'm thinking of a teal color. Oh, not those sprays. Hold on. Where's my other sprays? Y'all getting the feeling I have too much stuff? Okay, here we go. Here's some other sprays. Here's some Ranger sprays. There's a London blue. Mm, where's my teal? That's too dark. There, there we go. That teal is what I want and that blue. And I'll find a stencil that's going to work, but the, the under nine color is going to be this beige and this white. Then I'm going to get stencils and probably use the sprays over top. Or I do have the uh, Diane Reevely paints, like in the same colors. So there's the London Blue. Here is, oh no, that's turquoise. That's not teal. But it's a good color. Ooh, I might need to use that instead. I haven't used these paints in quite a while. And they do have a tendency to dry out. But you can just put, there's my white. Anyway, 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 we will do something, even if it's wrong. But we're going to let this dry first. We're going to play with paint. We're going to play maybe with sprays or maybe more paint. Not sure what. But get out just some stuff. Prime your canvas. Get some paint. Pick out a nice background stencil, maybe some lace or some trim, some stamps. Um, I may use a three-dimensional butterfly. I have some little brass ones around here somewhere. Um, there's a gorgeous dragonfly, but I'm saving that one because it's one of my favorites. I think... I don't know. I really do have some little brass butterflies somewhere. No, that's a peacock. No, 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 no. I'll have to dig around and find... There we go. There's butterflies. Told you I had some. I will use probably one of those. Should I use the one that I've already put the flat back pearl on? I don't know if that color's going to work may not be able to use that because I don't know about the color. Eh, maybe. We'll find out. Oh, it's not on there very good anyway, so. We'll play with something to give it some dimension. Like I said, maybe some lace. I have some leftover lace that Tamara sent me that I haven't used up. So, just to let you know, that's what we're going to get up to this time around. And we'll put a little, uh, quote, little sentiment on there, some background stuff, and it'll be fun. We'll just start playing and see what it wants to be. <laughs> All right, let's 
let's move on to step number two. Our gesso's dry. So let's lay down a little bit of this unbleached titanium and some white. Uh-oh. Whew, that's really on there. Hold on. I had to get the teeth involved there. Shh, I know that's so bad, isn't it? Very, very bad. All right, there we go. I haven't used these in a while. So I just thought I would just get this down tonight and let it dry overnight. I thought about a couple of different ways of applying this, but decided to just go with like a halfsies to start with. Diagonal halfsies, obviously. too complicated here. Probably going to end up going over that with some blue, but whatever. We're going to put it down for now. Always, always, always remember to do the sides of your canvas. Alright. Now, and you know, I probably should have started with the light color and then gone to the darker, huh? Well, if I knew what I was doing, I'd have done it that way, but eh, that's all right. Thinking isn't necessary. All right, just put down the white, and yes, I know there's some unbleached titanium in there, and that's fine with me too, because I actually, there we go, we got to blend them in the middle anyway, and then... I'm also going to put a beige stripe in the white and a white stripe in the beige. So this is by no means where we're going to leave it. Let's do that. Now let's go in here and put some white across there. And let's just kind of swish it in like so. And then let's kind of sort of do the same thing on the other side. There we go. We got to texturize a little. Can't just have solid colors because, because. There, I like that better. Put some white in there. Oh yeah, I like that. I'm we'll just kind of swishing some side stuff too. Alright, see how easy that is? Let's bring some white onto the sides. Alright, that's going to be our background. I like it just like that. Okay, now that's going to dry. And um, in the morning, I will start with some stenciling, some color over top. So this is what's actually going to show through in our negative space. That's why it doesn't really matter a whole lot. Ah, I'm just a mess. It doesn't matter a whole lot, you know, how you lay it down. But I didn't want, you know, solid colors anywhere exactly. I wanted them to kind of blend in and out. So that's what we've got. I haven't picked out my stencil yet. I want quite a bit of negative space in between my blues. So I want to find one that has... Um, I don't know how to explain it, but I'll find something and then I'll show you. I want something that has quite a bit covered up, you know, like small openings, I guess is what I'm trying to say, so that we have 
you know, I want to be able to see this white coming through beneath the blue that we put on top. Or I should say the white and the titanium. All right, so that's where it's going to sit tonight. And I'll be back in the morning and we'll go to the next step. All right, that has dried overnight. So now we're going to move on to the stenciling. And um, I was deciding between three stencils. What I was trying to say is I wanted a stencil that had that left quite a bit of our background showing so we need ones okay where you know wherever the plastic is is where our background color is going to be so I looked at this one and I thought it might be kind of good for what we're gonna do but then I decided that the flowers in the background may compete with what we're gonna do so I decided this was I wanted one that wasn't as attention drawing one that was a little more generic so I thought about these swirls and the reason I like the swirls is because there'd be a lot of the background showing through I still kind of like the swirls but I think what I'm going to end up going with is my delusions triangles like I said I like the swirls I like all three of these I really do and as you can tell they're going to give totally different looks to the project I mean just totally different but this one is nice and generic and I think I want generic for this because I don't want it to be a focal point at all definitely background 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 I'm gonna lower my shade just a teeny bit because I got Sun in my eyes it's not on the it's not glaring on the there we go. It's not glaring on the table yet, but it was right in my eyes. And I haven't even turned on, we'll just use a little artificial light. I think that'll work better. There we go. All right, so the next thing I have to do is I got to mix a color. And I decided I want to go with this paint, I think. And you know, if you've got the little craft paint in the bottles, you know, like these guys, you can use that, you can use acrylic in a tube, you could even use watercolor or something if you wanted. Um, I thought about doing sprays, but I decided they wouldn't be opaque enough. I don't really want the background showing through where we have paint. I'm just looking at my craft paints. Nah, I don't have any colors there I like. I think I'm gonna go with my delusions and just kind of mix up my own color here to get what I'm looking for. I don't really have a paint in the color I want per se. Let me look in the tubes because I had some pretty blues. It's a brilliant blue. All right, let's just go with the delusions. I love Miss Diane Reedley. She's my idol. I'm going to be her when I grow up even though I think I'm older. I don't want that one, I want this one. Okay, good grief. <sighs> I'm gonna be exhausted before I even get started here. All right, so we want a little of the blue. I'm mainly gonna be doing the turquoise, I think. I really want a kind of a teal I really like that blue that's used in the nature sketchbook, but I don't have anything that really comes close to that. So I'm not going to really try to match it. Um, but I sure did like that one. Let's see what I can come up with. And then I brought the white because whatever I end up with, I'm going to want a lighter version of it. All right, so what I'm thinking is if I mix this turquoise with that blue, I should get color variation that I kind of sort of like. So let's get rid of the little dried bits that have fallen all over the place now and see if we can't mix us a color that's mostly this a dab of that. 
mixing paint's fun. Alright, come on. A little more of the blue. We're getting there. Okay. I love art because you can just make up your own rules and your own stuff and do what you do because you do. Now I was going to paint this, but playing with this putty knife, I'm thinking I may just kind of... Nah, better not. And we need just a little bit more. Well, I'm going to put more blue in the middle. So we'll, I'm just going to start with this. And I wanted to kind of stipple it on there. So let's go with this little guy. Alright. Let's see what happens here. I want to hold down... And I want to do this. And I can even mix on the canvas a little bit. It's kind of hard when you've got a, a stencil that you're working through because you don't want to move it around and get it underneath. and You don't want to screw it up too bad. But what I was thinking was make it darker in the center. Blend it out. And then do my main color all around and nothing has to be perfect thank goodness alright that's looking good and now our background color kinda goes dark to light we've got light and dark mixed in all over the place but this corners darker and that corners lighter so for for this I wanted it darker in the center and then to get paler around the edge and do you see what I did I forgot to put my white out there that's all right no harm done yet I'm just worried about moving that stencil just want to make sure I was trying to get oh man and now I just got blue in my white that's not gonna work for me. I gotta get that out of there right now. Gonna ruin my white. I didn't clean my palette knife well enough. Ah! Should have got a fresh clean one. Learn from my mistakes. All right. All right. There we go. Now let's put some white and well let's go with some just regular turquoise first and then we'll we'll mess it up accordingly <laughs> all right i meant to fade from that mixed one to this one first and you can just randomly splotch them in there and it'll all look like it was supposed to be that way because you know however we do it that's how it's supposed to be right Mix it and match it and don't be scared of it. And look, I've moved it. Oh man. Eh. It is what it is now, isn't it? It was obviously supposed to be that way too. Eh. Alright, here we go. Put some white bits down wanted like around the edges to kind of fade a little bit. Darker in the middle. And some more of this and that. Is it scary? Are y'all scared right now? <laughs> I probably should be, but I'm not. We're just going to do it. Okay, I think that's pretty much what I want. Maybe just a little more blue here and there. What do you think? What do you think, y'all? 
I want blue and white. I want a pale blue. Let's do that. Ooh, let's put some of that in there. Just get a whole bunch of different colors mixed in. But for the most part, darker in the center, lighter going out. But, you know, doesn't have to be exact. Just get it in there best we can. And now, you ready for the unveiling? Ta-da! See where I moved it? But that's okay. That's all right. And you know what? That might be just a little too much color, too much contrast. need to do something else over that because I'm thinking that's like I said too much contrast I'm afraid what I do next isn't going to show up so well so now it's really not what I was going for so we have to make a new plan for one I did know that I wanted to go back and paint a border. So let's go ahead and do that. So step one is paint around the edges. And I don't want it the same all the way around. So I don't have to worry about, you know, matching that color. Because I want it to fade and get different tones. And I don't know how to hold it and get this done. There, let me just do it this way if I can. Hold it from the bottom. So first step is I'm going to paint in some edges. Different color here. Right. Oh, can y'all see? Did I just hold that off? Sorry, so sorry. Alright, so I want my borders different colors, kind of. That's getting better. All right, getting rid of those bright edges has helped me feel a little better about what we're doing here. And I think I'm gonna just take my spray and mist over the whole thing. I don't know why I think that'll help, but let's try it and see, does that help? darker blue here and there. Just don't want it too consistent. Okay, we've got a nice darker blue there. Teal. Baby blue. A little of everything. Let's put some darker blue in there. Okay. Okay, let's do that. Alright, I like that a little better. It looks a little too giraffey for me, though. Kind of look like a giraffe print to y'all. Or am I making things up in my brain again? Looks a little giraffey. <laughs> but not bad. Now that I've got the border around it, I like it much better. Just going to get the biggest part of this paint up with a dry paper towel. And then I'm going to clean up with my... Baby wipe, baby wipe. Can't live without the baby wipes. Okay. You guys probably don't need to watch this process, do you? Well, we are just going to let this dry now. Like I said, I'm thinking maybe just an overall spritz of teal. Just to tone down the contrast a little bit. Could ruin it though. It's not that bad. Not that bad. Alright. Let's 
let it dry or should we mist it while it's still a little wet? Might blend better that way is what I'm thinking. All right, I'm scared, but I'm going to do it. Because, you know, once it's on there, I can't take it off. But, just want to get something that blends the overall together a little better for me. Just do a test spray right there. Hold it way back here and just do one little... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, much better. Now, some of y'all may think I just ruined it, but I don't think so. Kind of like that. All right, I'm going to let that dry. Dry, 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 dry. I could get out my hot air gun thingy. You know, you know the one that we use for embossing and we use for this and that heat gun. Is that what it's called? Heat gun. Not a hot air gun. Anyway, I'm going to leave it for now. Let it dry on its own. And then we'll carry on. I think the next thing I'd like to do is some stamping. Alright. Alright. I'm going to quit fussing over it and turn off the camera and come back when it's dry. Alright, so that's pretty much dry now, and I've decided what I want to do, I still need to tone it down just a little bit, and it just needs more depth, it's just one thing on another thing, even though our tonal qualities change in both things, it's still just too basic, too simple, it's not enough depth, so what I want to do is I am going to go back with this stencil now. And I'm going to use the sprays. Alright, and I'm going to do dark. There we go. To lighter. And we're even going to go over this one more time, but this has to dry first. So pull this straight up. Oh, that's getting better. Getting much better. Let me move this out of the way. Let me, I don't want it to touch anything. I'll be right back. All right, I had to throw that in the sink real quick. And now we're just going to do the paper towel trick. And you just take a roll of paper towels, and mine's not very big. It doesn't need to be. It doesn't matter how big the roll is. And we're just going to do that to blot off that excess that's sitting right on the top. See, I got that big spot that was right there. Still got quite a bit. Let's try it again. Okay. It leaves most of your color on. Oh, and you can barely see the swirls. I love that. Okay, so it's getting better. I wish I would have done a little heavier in that area, but that's okay. Definitely is getting better. And... See, that's what goes wrong, in my opinion, most times, is you just don't get enough layers. When things just look a little too, I don't know, basic, a little too simple, a little too flat. They just need layers and layers and layers of different stuff. And I think that's why I love, love, love Graphic 45 so much because they have so many layers of things going on like in their design papers and I don't know just gives it interest and yeah some things cover up other things so you do lose some things but you gain so much and you it's amazing how much you keep seeing even though you think you've covered it up I'm just gonna set that out of the way right now so I can get this cleaned up you guys may notice I'm a little fussy. I don't like a messy workspace, so I have to clean up in between while everything is drying because, uck, I just don't like a mess. It's part of the process. I appreciate that. I just like to clean in between. And you know, what else are you going to do while it's drying? Let's 
especially if you don't have a camera going to yak at people while you're waiting in between. Um, the mist dry pretty quickly, but I just want to make sure everything gets dry. I think I'm actually going to go back and spray another, well, I have an idea of the top layer, but I don't think I'm ready to even get to the top layer yet. I think I want to do another layer before I get to the top stencil layer. But that's definitely looking better to me. I need just a little bit more blue, a different something, close but different. Do I want turquoise or do I want more teal? I think I want more teal. I should have sprayed the um, swirl one just a little bit more. I don't want to do it again because, of course, you'll never get it lined up. You know, you'll never know where it was. So I'm going to have to move on to the next thing. I'm just not sure what the next thing is yet. And see, you can see some of the swirls. You can't really see that whole pattern. But it's there. Like, here's a swirl, here's a swirl. They're in there, and they're just subtle. And you see them from different angles. I really wish I would have sprayed that just a little bit heavier. Here in the negative space, you can see that swirl. You know, some you see them in the actual color. There's a swirl of blue, and there's a swirl of negative space. So that's, that's way cool. And I just, we need to do one more something. And then I was going to use that flower one in white over top of it. But now I have to decide what that something is that I want to do. I like the swirls. Maybe I'll just do this. No, maybe polka dot. I have so many stencils. And maybe we just need a polka dot. Let's, I think that would be good. What do you think? We've got polka dots, we've got zigzags, we've got a little bit of everything. I uh, definitely don't want that. Don't want bit, we could do a stripe. I don't want to do too many, I think I want the polka dot. And maybe I should do, instead of going back with more blue, what do you think if we put a splash of purple on there? That one's after midnight. Oh, we could do that too. That's nice and dark. Let's do after midnight. I was actually thinking more purpley, purpley, raspberry. Well, that's fuchsia. I think maybe midnight. Let's give it a little more depth. Let's make sure that's dry. It pretty much is, but let's make sure. Hit it with the heat gun there. All right. Yeah, see, I think we've got enough. I'm sorry, you probably can't hear me with that running. My apologies. I think we probably have enough teal and turquoise. You know, we've got quite a bit going on. So let's just try. Okay, it's dry. Let's try polka dots but not everywhere let's do should we do three should we do four and we're going to get in a little closer with this one i haven't sprayed these for a while i should probably do a test spray just to make sure it's not clogged and not going to do anything totally funky oh yeah that's a good good one all right and we'll do one there oh there that's what it needed and we'll do one here oh not really where i was aiming but whatever and we'll do one there yes i dig it should we do the rollover trick and get rid of some i think we better because we got a little much oh better 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 yes 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 I was just finding a journal to take. All right, so what you do is on once you've sprayed on your uh, 
this on something. There we go. Once you've sprayed on your stencil like that, you want to take that leftover, put it on a journal page somewhere instead of wasting it. I'm just going to get that dry enough to put my book down. I'm just going to grab a journal page somewhere that I've been slopping leftovers on. Let's see, where's a good journal page? Oh, I don't want to use a blank one. I wanted to add to one. Well, we'll just add to this one. Alright, so what you do is you just, oh man, and then it moves and you mess it up. Oh well, that's kind of cool too. You just put that down and get you some texture going on on another page there. I know it looks like a mess. Don't worry about it. It'll be all good. Let's see if I have any of the swirly one left. I threw it in the sink. enough left on that one so I didn't think of it in time all right now look at my hands isn't that pretty and I'm getting low battery so I'm gonna stop here now let everything dry and we'll come back I don't even want to touch my camera with those hands all right so that one's dry now are we in flame should we zoom in a little bit would you all be able to see better if I did a a little zoom. Let's try that. Oh, now I've done it. Now I'm all askew. Just a minute here. There we go. Let's try that. Here's what I've got so far. Alright, so our little mini canvas is coming along. I'm wondering if I want it this way. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put the floral over top. I don't know that there's a right side or a wrong side to these stencils, but anyway, there we go. And I'm going to take white. Now this will be real subtle. If I would have done this stencil on the, the light background with the blue, it would not have been subtle. And I wanted it kind of subtle, so I'm going to go ahead and there. That's all I want, I think. And I'm going to take that stencil that's nice and wet with white paint. There we go. Didn't do a whole lot not real noticeable and it kind of blended in with the blue and it's kind of made a, a light blue I think we should grab the um, paper towels I'm just trying to find a page okay like here's a perfect page now in my journal to put this on there we go just flip it upside down can y'all see there we go That'll add to that a little bit. Get that out of the way. I'm going to grab the paper towel and blot before that runs any further. Now I don't know that we can really see a whole lot of that. But, I mean, you can't see the flowers, I don't think. We'll see once it dries. But it gave it some more dimension. Layer, layer, layer. I definitely needed more layers. I am so sorry. I'm talking with that thing going again like you can hear me. I forget. I forget. I forget. I just get to moving along. And then I do dumb things. And I didn't mean to just be irritating. And I bet that really was. Alright. The one thing I want to do before I start with the stamping. I've made a mess all over as usual. I think I want a stencil. I have a stencil with some brass. 
and I think I want to put that grass at the bottom. Let me see if I can find it. It's grass and some dragonflies. Here we go. I think I just want the grass. This has to dry first, obviously. And I want to go in with a deep green. I don't want it, or do I want it bright? I don't know what I want. I don't know if a bright green or a deep green is going to look better on there. I've got... Oh, that's teal. We don't want that. I've got bright green for sure. I might just use that. I was afraid it would be too bright. I thought maybe I had some craft paint in a green. I used to. Who knows? You know, things do get used up once in a while. Alright, we have these acrylics too we could look through. I just don't know that I want something that bright on there. Maybe I do though. That might be actually kind of pretty. Pop a color just down at the bottom. Alright. Alright, I'll play with that while this dries. And hopefully make a decision. I'm just trying to see if we can see those flowers. We can't really see the flowers. Oh well. Still gave a look. I'm doing it again, aren't I? Sorry. Alright. I'm going to turn the camera off and try to stop annoying everyone. I'll be back. I decided to go ahead and go with the light green there. I mean, it's not real light. Now I don't know where my stipple brush is. Good grief, I gotta go get that. Alright, so I'm just gonna lay that right there. And we're gonna, we're just gonna put some little grass. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Had to go get a brush. And maybe there's enough in the lid. I like it when there's enough in the lid. Yeah, there we go. Let's see if that's enough to put in. Well, that was good. Hit everywhere but the hole. We will put in some bright green grass over top of all the other stuff going on. And it's okay if it's not solid. It's okay if it's not, you know, if the blue shows through a little bit. I'm cool with that. Keep it from being too bright. So we will have grass. We nef definitely have a top and a bottom to the picture now, though. Ha ha ha. How cute, how cute. Right? And it's a little smudged together over here. We may end up covering that with something. Um, just in case, I may take the um, palette knife and try to clean that up just a little bit or maybe a q-tip would work just where I smudge too much now nah, we're gonna leave it we'll make sure that's covered with some other element but there we go that's just enough just a hint of grass nothing too bright not too much now again we can take our stencil and put it on another page somewhere in a book I don't know top from bottom. We'll just put it here. Then we'll say that that was the bottom. All right. <laughs> All righty. And now we gotta let that dry and clean up this mess and then we'll be back and we'll play a little further. Okay, so I think we're dry enough now to move along. And I think the next thing I want to do is I want to start playing with my stamps finally. That's what the whole point was, was to use our beautiful stamps in the collection, the Graphic 45 Nature Sketchbook. So, 
you know you can I'm sure you know this but you know you can use stamps many different ways and I want to use some for background and I want to use some as focal points and I want to use some on the paper and I want to use some on this is just some mixed media paper that I had the Strathmore just one of my uh, tablet thingies whatever so what I was thinking I want to take this big beautiful flutter by and put it doesn't really matter about our block because there we go um I want to put it on the white and I want to color it in with my ink tense pencils is what I was thinking and then cut it out and use it on attach it as a 3d kind of element on our canvas all right so let's try this and I am not a very good stamper and if you all have suggestions feel free to put them in the comments because I've just never been a good stamper I seem to get well let's see how it goes I have a feeling you might know exactly what I'm talking about here in just a minute because all right I just never seem to get a good image all right there we go that one's not too bad I didn't do too bad on that one all right so I think I'll leave it it's not as dark on this side as it is on this side. I don't know if that has to do with the way I lay down my ink or the way I press down my stamp. And you know what? Maybe both are wrong. But, and I don't know if this is the correct way to clean my stamps either, but it's what I usually do. And it usually works a little better than this, I thought. But anyway... When you don't know what you're doing, you just have to do it for a while, and then you get pointers, you learn what works and what doesn't work, and then, you know, hopefully somebody that knows more about it than you will tell you a little something, something here and there, and then you get better. Alright, so, kind of, sort of, clean that off. Alright, let's move on to the next one. Now, this one... I sort of want to stamp right onto my canvas. Kind of was thinking it could go over here somewhere. But I'm not 100% sure where I want to put stuff. I had thought about this as background because it's nice and fine and I was going to stamp around for a little background. But then I also want to use this sentiment, and I was afraid if I had words in the background, it would distract from our sentiment. So, let's see, where do I even want to put things? If that were in that area, and this were in this area, could I then fit the butterfly on? See, that might be too big. Maybe I need to go with the little one. Which I was going to try and get on there too, but my canvas is so small, I don't think we're going to be able to get everything on there. So if that was there, and that was there, yeah, the flutter bike could go in here. But now is that going to look crowded? Maybe that should be down a little more. All right, so that should be down more. This should be over more. This should be here. All right, I kind of like that. What do you guys think about that? I think that's what it's going to be. Now, here's my next question. With these little words like this, can I emboss? I'd kind of like to emboss the sentiment and then just stamp this to separate it, you know, make this more like background and make this more like focal point. And I'm thinking, which is dangerous, I just don't know if I'm going to see how will I ever cut around that. That's so tiny. How will I ever, if I do this on 
my paper here how will I ever fussy cut around that to get it on there hmm things that make it well you know what maybe I could cut the antennae off and just draw them on no that's not gonna work because then I'd have the wings up here and then maybe that will work maybe that's exactly what we need to do see I have no clue just no clue at all what the hell I'm doing yeah I said hell I just did it I thought about changing it to heck but you know what that's not how I talk <laughs> oh goodness uh, I hope oh that one was just oh I moved it I thought it was gonna be a mess but it's not that bad let's try another one just see if I get it better Oh, people, people, people. Let's try again. See? And it, I shouldn't do that. I should take it straight down and straight up. All right. I think that one's a little better. That one's smudged a little. So we'll go with that one, I guess. I just don't know about this. You just got to play with it, right? You just have to figure out what you're doing as you go. Okay, now clean up your mess. And I had lotion on my hands, so now there's fingerprints all over my block. So there's those. I don't think I'm going to use this for background because I think it's just going to be way too much. And to see if I can emboss this, maybe what I'll do is I'll just put it on this paper first with some embossing and see if you can read it. So I'll have to get my embossing stamp and see if that works. I tell you what, let's just go ahead and risk it all and see if we can get this down directly onto our canvas. See if that works. Then I'm going to try to emboss on the paper to see if I think it's going to work on the canvas. And you know, of course, if it doesn't work on the canvas, my other option is to do it do something on paper and cut it out. Okay. Could even do it on colored paper instead of white paper. Let's try putting this about right there and see what happens. I just want to reach underneath and press that canvas up. And you can barely, barely see it. All right, you can see it, but you can't see it a lot. Hmm, what do you think? You can kind of see it. I'm not sure what I think about that, but we're going to leave it. Um, our other option is again to stamp it on the paper, cut it out, and put it on there, which I may end up doing. All of the stamps may get put onto the canvas that way. I just don't have a lot of experience with stamping, and the stamping that I've done has either been on uh, journal pages or just as background on canvases. So. All right, let me play around. I've got to go find my embossing pad. I don't know what I've done. Yeah, I do know what I've done with it. It's right here. It's in this guy right here. And what color, do we want to emboss it in black or do we want to emboss it in a light color? Even I was kind of thinking gold or silver or no, bronze would look good. We could either emboss in black or gold or silver. Silver might stand out the best. All right, let's just try it in black on the paper and see what happens. I'm gonna cover that up. I'm gonna get my block. Get this. Okay. Get this. never tell if it's on there because it's clear. 
I hope y'all are laughing at me, having a good time laughing at me because you, you can tell I really just don't have much clue. Yep, 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 yep. Let's put this. I'm wasting all kinds of paper here. Let's put this right here. And up. And black. bit to where it gets over all of it. Alright, we have a little bit of a crease there so we can pour that back into the jar. Oh no. I got the top on too tight. There we go. bit of a crease down there and there's our excess back into the jar all right and now look it's stuck in a bunch of spots I didn't want it to be stuck to and that's what I'm afraid is going to happen if I try to put it on the paint I'm afraid it's going to stick in places that I don't want it to. Maybe a brush, a light brush, will get rid of. But see, then it takes it from where I want it to. Yeah. See, I was afraid that words would not emboss well. All right, let's see what happens. like it. I kind of don't like it. Mm -hmm -hmm. What happens if you stamp in black and put embossing powder over it? What happens then, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? I've lost my block. How did I do that? There it is. Let's try this. Let's try black over black and that way anything that doesn't stick would still have black ink underneath it. Let's try that. Okay, here we go again. Let's clear off a spot. There we go. Emboss. Well, at least that stamp is much better, huh? Get that down before it dries. Let's see if anything sticks there.
Well, I like that better. Y'all like that better? Just put the black over the black. Now, if I do this, no, it's on there now. That's the problem. All those little specks, if you don't get them off, there they are. I think I'm just going to go for it. I think I'm just going to try it right on the canvas. And see what happens. Just so afraid that embossing stuff's going to stick to every darn thing. Okay, I'm going to quit doing that on camera now. I'll be back. Okay, so here's what I did that I like. I just painted a little piece of my paper black and I did the embossing in silver and I think it's very pretty. So what I'm going to do is tear this and adhere it to the canvas. I'm not going to make it this big. I'm just getting it off of here to start with. Okay. That turned out cute. I like that. Whew. I was getting nervous about it. Alright, so we can just tear it. And then we'll have a nice white edge on the black. That's looking kind of cool. in the way that's tearing and leaving that white edge around it. So we might have stumbled upon something that's going to work and of course it was quite by accident. <laughs> Alright, let's just try not to mess it up now. piece out like so. There we go. That's not so bad. Right? That is not bad at all. And it can go, oh yeah. Alright, so now that we have that, I'm wondering if I don't want to do the same thing for this flower maybe? I don't know. That's kind of cool. I like that. Let's just get rid of a little bit of that extra white there. Make it dip into a bit of a V if we can to match the black. There. Okay. So that can go in that area. I'm wondering about this thing now. I'm debating. I'm debating. I'm sorry. Dead, dead air. Dead air. How boring for you. I will figure it out and let you know. I may put that color, that flutter by and put it in. I may do the little one. I'm wondering if I could do one in silver. Maybe let's do a little silver one on black and, and put it on here as well. I think that might look really cool. Because I like the way that turned out so much. I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm just going to do a little flutter by and maybe if I could find a little sprig flower instead of that and put it over that, like, you know, just a little sprig of dried flower or something there, give it a nice three-dimensional. I have some little silver corners that I intend to put on and uh, yeah, I think we'll do a, a silver butterfly on black because I just think that turned out really cool. So let's do that. Let's paint us a little black piece and let's do an embossed flutter by and uh, stick it on here and a, a little sprig of something. I'm going to dig in my flowers and see what I can find. Alright, so now what I've done, I found some little flowers with wire stems that came in one of the craftology boxes. I'm not sure if it was 
could have been the Cosmopolitan girl. I'm not sure. Anyway, it was one of them over the last three months or so that had these little flowers in it. And I took five of them and I twisted them together to make this little spray. All right, so the spray is going to go over where that stamp was, kind of, sort of. We'll play around with it and get it situated. I thought about coloring them with some sprays or something and actually decided I like the white since we have this white border. And then I took and I did the black again and did a silver flutter by on black to match our words. And now I'm just gonna go tear this one out kind of like I did before. I don't know how I'm going to do around the antennae, but as soon as we get there, we'll figure it out, right? Let's just go this away, and then down, and then this away, and then kind of in, and make it crooked. Oops, and don't get that little leg off. And then make sure we get that little, like, swallowtail bit in there. Okay. So we don't have as much white showing right there, but it's going to have to do because we're going to have a flutter by, we're going to have our words, we're going to have that down there. I'm going to find a black marker that's a good size. Actually, if I could find a brush, maybe like this one, Let's see if I'll be able to do it with that. What I'd like to do is go around these leaves a little bit. I don't know if that's going to work. If it's going to be too thick, too thin. Eh, it works okay, I guess. We'll go around some of those little leaves, grassy stem thingies at the bottom. And then we'll put it together and um, put some little silver edges on and I think we'll be done. So let me play with this. Just gonna paint, I'd like that a little thinner, but if I get the, the one with the point, I'm afraid that um, the nib, I'm afraid it'll clog. The brush is actually just a teeny bit too thick but we're going to have to make do with it, I think. Just try and get it as thin as I can with the brush. And fake it. Just like no pressure. Alright. Okay. So I traced around in the black. I dug through my stash and I found these teensy tiny itty bitty little corners. I think I got them on eBay or something from China. They're cheap. Um, like you can find 25 of them for three dollars or something. I don't know. They're just really cheap little accent pieces. And when I find them like that in bulk at a really cheap price, I just buy some and I honestly don't know exactly where they come from. I just see them and I get them because I know I'll use them for something because I love my little um, corners. I'm trying to zoom in a little bit here for you. There we go. Let me scoot this down here. What I'm going to do is I decided I'm going to glue this down. Got my art glitter glue here. And I'm just going to put it on the back of the flowers. How can that be clogged? I just took the thing right out of it. Okay. Should be good. Maybe just take a minute to get down there because I haven't used it for a while. There it is. Alright, so on the back of the flowers, on the stem, and then mostly down here where it's thicker. Get that on there. Alright. 
may need to use my tweezers here. Get it positioned just so. Play with it a little bit. Okay, here we go. And then the next thing I want to do is I'm going to take this seam binding and I'm just going to finish off this little edge. And I'm going to wrap it around just a touch. So let's see how to do this without making too big of a mess. You know that me and glue sometimes fight with each other. Alright, I'm just going to dab it on here. Thank goodness this stuff dries clear and it hides, you know, gives you a little wiggle room. Alright, whoop, 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 whoop. Alright, like I said, I want it to wrap around a little bit. So let's put it down there, put it down there, get rid of that little string. Oh, poo, why did I do that? So, and wrap it around the edge a little bit. Hey, I kind of like it wavy. Let's make it not straight. Well, there we go. Pull some down and leave some up. And give it a little natural flow there. Okay. Don't worry, it will dry clear. We'll be okay. And then our little metal pieces are going to cover up the edge. Okay. And yes, we can see some glue right now, but that's okay because it's going to dry clear. I can't really clamp that down very well. I need to hold it for just a minute, I think. And then maybe just do this from a distance. We don't want it to get hot, but we wanted that air. I just want a little air on it. Okay, and then we'll get our edges down. Now I've heard that the art glitter glue does just fine for metal pieces. I'm about to find out because I've never used it this way. I usually grab my E6000, so we'll see. They haven't lied to me yet about my art glitter glue, so we will see. And I think this is going to be really cute. We're going to have our little sentiment. We're going to have our little flutter by. We're going to have our corners, our flower all the rich background that's going on I think it's going to be kind of cute what do y'all think is it kind of cute is it kind of junky you can tell the truth I never know until I get it all done and look at it the next day for some reason I decide the next day whether I like things Usually, I'm not sure about them. I see them the next day, and I like them. I, I think I get sick of looking at them while I'm making them. All right, that one needed to be bent a little bit. And my my paper or paper clips, my clothes pins. There we go. Aren't wide enough to go around the edges. That sticks up a little bit, but I think it's okay. bent it first. You got to bend these for the corners a little bit. Now should I leave these edges sticking up a little? I should roll them just a touch, don't you think? Should I roll them and then not glue all the way to the edge? I think that would be cute. I've got a little blue on my hands. I better watch it. Just get these down. And we're almost done. And I have this little sparkle pen too that I might take and do some dots. They do like 
dots. Uh, like instead of buying enamel dots and putting them on, I have this little pin that you kind of paint them on. I haven't used it, but I found it and I bought it. Pearl pin. Has anybody used these? To put little accents. I may want to put a couple accents here and there. Like you would a flat back pearl. And I may put some stickles on my flowers. Jazz them up a little bit. When the uh, glue dries on this ribbon, I'll see if I need to put some little accents over that to hide. Right now they're just wet spots. Let's see what happens when they dry. And there's our last corner. Maybe. There it is. So we have it pretty much assembled. I'm going to let everything dry before I glue down my two paper pieces there. I don't know if, I think I want them kind of rolled up edges for dimension. I may need to pop them up. Maybe the flutter by get popped up a little bit and not the words. We will see. Let's let some stuff dry first. And then I'll come back and have a look. Let's see if I can kind of, that one's bent. I kind of like to bend them around the corner. So I'm just kind of checking that bend them. I think it's kind of cute. What do y'all think? I never know if things are cute or dorky. <laughs> we'll find out tomorrow, won't we? Alright, well thanks for, once again for hanging in there with me. And um, it may need a little more. It may need a little something something here and there. We'll see. Alright, so this little flower thing over here just wasn't quite right. So I had to figure out what I wanted to do and what I need some little twigs in there and I need some little pearls in there. I dug around till I found some stuff and we need some moss I think um, to blend between the ribbon and the drawn on parts. I wanted a little something in the middle over here where this plant type thing is. So what I'm thinking here is if we take these little guys, these are actually the stamen that go in the middle of the little flowers, but I want to use them as accents. So I think if I wrap them around a little bit like so, that's going to give me what I want. I can situate those kind of around in there and then we're going to hide we're going to hide the thread maybe and I probably just got my hair in the shop. Sorry about that. I do it all the time. Okay. Like wrap these around not quite random but Anyway, I think so. We need to we need to add something over here. It just looked too flat. Too one thing stuck on another thing. I like these little curly cues. I found this. I had these from a while back. Look, that one right there. Oh, look, those have little bitty leaves. Let's see. We can work a leaf or two in there. Ruin it up too bad. Let's see if we can put this one. I don't know. There. Kind of. Sort of. I don't know. Kind of want it to stick out. Maybe I should just take the leaf off. I'm afraid I'll mess it up further. Alright. Well, anyway, you get where I'm going with this. I need something a little more earthy and organic in there with it. And then the little sparkle things. And there. I like those little twigs. We need some little, maybe instead of leaves, we just need some of those little twigs. 
the viney looking bits is what I'm liking. And if we could get them around and in between, I'm just going to have to play with it a little bit. But this is where, you know, you just improvise. You, you dig through your stash, you look at your leftover stuff from other projects, and you find little bits to just stick in between and finish it up. So that's what I'm going to do, and like I said, I want a little bit of moss, I think, going across the bottom. I have two kinds. I have this brown kind and this green kind. I don't know which I'm going to like better. These are kind of feathery. They may work better. And we don't want it too... I don't know, and I even had some little rocks. Maybe we'll even put a couple little rocks on there we can get them small enough something like that and some like that what do you think yeah something I'm gonna play with it I just wanted to show you what I was working on and I'll be back okay it might be a little goofy here's what I did I added some moss and a rock and some moss and rocks and twigs what do you think I don't know if it just got cute or if it just got really goofy I like it better though I thought it was a little boring may need a little something there too but anyway that's what I did I added moss and rocks and twigs and I think we're going to need a little bit of stickles on the flowers because I'm pretty sure we're minus some sparkle here. Thinking that's what's missing is a little sparkle. And maybe I'm going to try a couple of dots of that pearl pin. I want to try this pearl pin and it would tie in those stamens if I had a couple dots. Is what I think. I'm going to let everything dry though so I don't mess it up. I'll make sure it's all down. I put lots of glitter glue underneath. I'm nervous about the rocks though because they're heavy. We shall see. If we need to go in with a, some E6000 then we will. Let's go ahead and glue this down. I'm not going to decoupage it because that would make my stuff underneath run. I've got some inks and stuff, you know, that I sprayed on. That would make them run. So I don't want to decoupage. I'm just going to glue it. This, I think I may pop up with a, um, like a dimensional pop dot, whatever those things are. You know, the little foam sticky things. I didn't take my glue all the way to the edge because I want it to curl a little bit. Alright. It's not wanting to glue to that painted surface. It may still be just a little damp. So I may need to just wait until that dries overnight. But I'm trying here. Like I said, I do want my edges to curl up a little bit so I didn't take my glue to the edge. Let's see what happens. Maybe I should have put on a heavier amount. Press it, press it, press it. Since it's a canvas, you know, I gotta press from both sides so I don't stretch out my canvas. Okay. It's kind of cute, kind of goofy. Let me know what you think, even if it's not the, you know, maybe it's not your favorite thing I've done. In all honesty, I don't think it's my favorite thing I've done, but you know. We live and we learn and we have fun playing. We're going to put our flutter by on. I think 
everything's good, squish it down one more time before I go to let it dry. Sneak a little more glue underneath. It in there. Oh, that's okay. That's all right. Got a little glue on the outside there, but there. Hold everything in place and just grab that with the Teflon. Okay might need to sneak some glue under those edges too. We'll let it dry and play with it some more. Where do I need to put it so you can see it? Right about there? How's that? Alright. I think that was an improvement anyway. May not be perfect, but it's getting better. Alright, let everything dry and quit messing with it before I make a mess out of it. We'll be back. I was hoping to get it done today, but, you know, it just might get finished up in the morning. Might be crochet time. I will check in with you later. Alright, so everything's dry. And our finishing touch, I put a little pop dot on the back of our little letter by there and we're just going to put that right on to our canvas. I may need to put some glue but let's try it like this first. I want it to look like it's flying away from that little floral thingy. And note to self, I used these pearl, this pearl pen and if you look right here on the paper they're nice and pearly and pretty. But if you look where the ink was, they took on the ink and they became blue and pearly. Now, I don't know if that's because I didn't let the ink get dry enough or if because it's just going to do that every time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one like right here and see if it turns color now that this um, those spray inks have dried overnight. Making sure it's coming out all right. And then we'll put one right there and let it dry. And see, and maybe one right there. Okay. We'll see what color those are once they're dry. Um, I may go back over the ones that turned blue and um, see if I can make them pearl colored. Because I'd rather have them pearl colored. But, other than that, we are done. I hope you like it. It was a fun process. Definitely. And I think this would be so cute on a little easel. Like sitting on a desk, you know, or sitting on a, a table or something. Um, it's kind of small to put on a wall, I guess, if you had just the right spot. It's a 4 by 6 canvas, if I'm not mistaken have a look. No, it's not. It's, oh, it's a 5x7. Alright, it's a 5x7 canvas, sorry. But anyway, so there is our little mini canvas. Multimedia, and I mean multimedia. We've got sprays, we've got um, acrylics, we've got paper, we've got flowers, we've got twigs and moss and marker and uh, metal and ribbon. It's multimedia for sure. And our stamping from our adorable, and I think it turned out really cute with that silver on black. I like the way that turned out. So there it is. Hope you enjoyed. And as usual, sorry about the rambling process, but that's just how I get there. <laughs> so thanks for joining me at Creative Therapy. This is Sunny. Ciao for now.